Well, it's not time for us to fix our business news as artificial intelligence is making inroads into healthcare by providing facial screening to check vital signs in the body. Arise Business correspondent Rotis Odiri participated in a demonstration by tech company Panoptic AI at the Future Investment Initiative in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. Let's take a look. Well, of course, we're still here at Rise News at the Future uh, Investment uh, in in Initiative, which, of course, is run by the Public Investment uh, Fund here in Saudi Arabia, in Riyadh. And, you know, health care is a sector that technology can boost quite a, a bit. So we're here at uh, Panoptic AI, and what they do is a, a screening, a facial scan, uh, which is supposed to be able to tell you your vital signs. In fact, the gentleman that you're seeing on the screen uh, is the founder um, of the company. And you can see all general wellness, and then this is the dashboard that essentially tells you, you know, how all this works. So we're going to speak to him uh, in just a moment, so he can give us uh, some more uh, insight uh, on that. Hi. How are you doing? I'm good, thank you. Pleasure uh, to be here. Can you please uh, introduce yourself uh, and let, tell us about your company? All right. Hi everyone. Uh, I'm, I'm Kyle from Panoptic AI. We're revolutionizing healthcare by making vital science monitoring accurate, accessible, and AI-powered all through your smartphone. The simple idea is that we're transforming the existing smartphone, tablet, or computer into a medical-grade vital science monitor. So just through a 30-second assessment of your face, we're able to extract your key vital signs, like your heart rate, your breathing rate, oxygen saturation, even blood pressure, at a clinically validated accuracy. And how does this work exactly, just by scanning an individual's face? How, how exactly does that work? Great question. So what's actually happening is we're detecting these micro color changes on your face that are caused by blood flow under your skin. So as our heart is pumping blood to different parts of our body, this blood flow, or your heart pumps blood and blood flows to your face, it actually causes some very, very subtle color changes that we can't see with our human eyes, but can be captured by a regular camera. So we use the smartphone or a regular iPad camera to pick up these color changes and then we have software AI models in the back end to calculate and extract your vital signs. So is this basically targeted at individuals or can businesses gain from this? What's the, what's the use case there? Absolutely. Right now we're predominantly B2B, so we work with healthcare institutions, elderly homes, clinics, insurance companies, and they will help distribute this technology to the end user. But in the end, the vision for myself really is that no matter where you are, where you're from, as long as you have a smartphone, you have an opportunity to take control of your health. And so is that basically, is it like an app software basically that's what can be used on a pad, pad uh, or, or a phone in order to do the scan? Absolutely. So we are completely software based. So just using a regular camera. So this can be the camera of your smartphone. It could be the camera of your iPad, even something like a robot or any basic Android device, even a smart mirror. Right? We, as a software-based solution, can be embedded into that existing platform and provide this accurate vital science monetary service. So, so how do you guys make money uh, from yeah. what, what it is that you're doing? Yeah. So right now we're predominantly B2B, as I shared. So basically we charge a subscriptions, subscription fee per scan or per user to the businesses. Now, you know, so you're using AI. What, what is the, the future here? How, how far, how much more advanced can AI assist in healthcare when it comes to scanning? Can it maybe detect other things in the future? Absolutely. So what we're measuring right now are your core vital signs, right? Things like your heart rate, your breathing rate, oxygen saturation, blood pressure. Take blood pressure, for example. One in three people actually have hypertension or high blood pressure. And half of those people don't even know that they have this. So imagine you have now an easy way, right, which is through your smartphone. Do a quick 30-second scan and you're able to check, oh, um, my blood pressure is relatively higher today. That is actually a very effective pre-screening tool for preventing future complications like cardiovascular disease, heart attack, stroke, liver risk, even kidney damage. Now, um, is this related to wearables or is there a, a, a difference here? Can, can you talk to us about your, how you see things playing out in, in, that, in that space? Absolutely. So I think the idea that, or the, the power of this technology really is in its scalability. So wearables are great devices, so we're not against them, but in terms of the adoption rate, they're still, well, we've seen a plateauing curve nowadays. And however, when it comes to your smartphone or your tablet devices, we still see it steadily increase year on year. So the idea behind our technology is that it's very, very scalable, hence making it, you know, 
uh, helping us achieve the vision of accessible and affordable healthcare for everyone. Uh, and as far as funding is concerned, because there's been a talk of, you know, everyone here is, you know, talking to investors, they're networking. Are you seeking funding while, while you're here in Riyadh? Absolutely. Yeah, we're a, a growing startup based in Hong Kong. And right now we've secured some, I believe, great traction in the Asia Pacific region. So this is my first time here in Riyadh and in, in, in the Middle East. And we're very excited to explore different collaboration opportunities, funding opportunities to expand our technology across the rest of the world. So, and, and so uh, beyond the Middle East, are you going to be looking at other regions uh, as well? Absolutely. Our current focus is still the Asia Pacific region. However, we're slowly uh, with selected partners exploring to uh, the Western countries, uh, Africa as well, uh, as well as the Middle East. All right, well, I'm, I'm going to get a scan. Can we, can we go see and demonstrate? Let's do that. All yeah. right, please. Sit a bit closer. Okay. So, the way it works is this is actually an iPad that one can purchase from the Apple Store. What we've built here is a sample web application, which means it's just in web, a website. The same thing can also be available through a iOS or Android application. So I'm gonna start the scanning process. What's gonna happen here is first the software will do some calibration, looking at the okay, lighting, uh, and the distance, stay still, the centering. Right? Yes, uh, treat it just like uh, how you would be measuring any other, uh, your, your vital signs in the hospital setting. So once everything is okay, we press start and we'll begin our 30 second health assessment. Okay, right so now, it's... stay still, take okay. it easy. Yeah. What's happening right now is the camera of this iPad is actually screening the blood flow on your face. Mm. As I shared, our eyes cannot see these blood flow changes, but a regular camera like this iPad can easily capture those changes processed by our software and then extract these core vital signs. So we're almost there. Well done, scanning complete, take it easy and give it some time to analyze the results. Pretty interesting. All right. So in a short period of time, we're able to get things like your general wellness, your stress rating, your heart rate, blood pressure, oxygen saturation, and even your facial skin age. 39 years old. Hey, I'm uh, older than 39, so that means I'm <laughs> you're younger doing a good age. job. Yeah. Right. yeah. So after that, we can actually go to a report view and yeah. look at metrics like, as I shared, your general wellness. So it says excellent. Yes. All right, good. Yeah, above 80 is good. Okay. 90 right now is fantastic. Right. Your stress level. Moving on to your respiratory system, so yeah. your lung function, looking at things like your respiratory rate, your yeah. oxygen saturation, that would be measured by clipping uh, yeah. with a, a pulse oximeter. Coming down to your cardiovascular system, right? We got your resting heart rate, yeah. 79. Although it says poor here, yeah. maybe you're a bit excited doing this interview. <laughs> right, right. You're seeing so much cool tech around, yeah. right? Moving on to heart rate variability, the beat time in between different heartbeats, right? This is a good metric you see here. And also your systolic and diastolic blood pressure, which yeah. as I shared, is a core indicator if it's elevated for heart disease, you know, subsequent kidney damage. Yeah. Right now you're doing quite well. All right, hey, Kyle. Uh, Panoptic AI, it's been a pleasure talking to you. Thank, Thank you so much. much. So we got to follow up with you on how these things, how things work out. Absolutely. Right, Thank you. It.